God bless you in this wonderful day. Here is Daniela Ojaga bringing you a revelation from the Holy Spirit. God is telling someone today, it's not what you think, okay? The enemy has been trying to attack your mind. The enemy has been trying to attack your development. And he's putting uh, ideas in your mind that are not from God. The enemy has been whispering things to you about your past. And God is bringing you into this video to provide to you deliverance. God is trying to set you free. God is trying to break that cycle in your mind that keeps on opening the door to delay. Keeps on opening the door for things that are supposed to happen to you to be sabotaged. Self-sabotage is happening a lot because of these ideas and these thoughts that are not from the Lord. God blessed me with a vision, people of God. And in this vision, I saw, I saw a woman and she went inside of a building and she was very hysterical. She was laughing. She was joking. But the sad thing about this is that everybody in the room didn't want that woman there. Nobody was happy to have her there, but she couldn't see this. It was like she was blinded by the enemy. She was blinded from the truth. As she was exiting this building, I saw that she put her hand on some guy's shoulder and he was like looking at her like, I don't even know you, but she kept on saying like, oh, well, I'll see you later. Almost like as if there was like a one-sided relationship. And whenever she left the building, it hit her all at, at once that nobody in that building really wanted her to be there. As I was praying, you know, the Holy Spirit, I was going to do these videos tomorrow, but the Holy Spirit told me, release them now. Hallelujah. As I was praying, the Holy Spirit spoke to me to be very direct to someone today because the devil has been trying to attack your future. Okay, I need to tell you, and this is directly from God, it's not what you think. Your enemies, people from your past are not doing things to get back at you. There is not a secret agenda that God has and they're trying to do things because they miss you. Um, like everything that the devil has been trying to tell you to keep you connected from people that God removed is not true, okay? Sometimes the devil plays with our minds and especially in the kingdom of God, when there's like this attachment, like some people have a little bit of a toxic attachment to their past. And that's why we are always telling people to not look back. And a lot of people are always saying like, let go of your past. And it's true. Whoever this word is for, the devil knows that this is one of your weaknesses, that it's a little bit hard for you to let go of the things of the past. And because of this, you've been in this cycle. You've been thinking that, oh, they're trying to get at me or they posted this because of me. Like none of that is true. God wants you to know that these people, whoever this word is for, based on this vision, and I'm sorry to be the one that has to rip the bandage, but I have to tell you this because again, God told me it's going to bring you deliverance. Like it's going to set you free. God needs you to know that these people don't like you. Like these people don't miss you. These people don't love you. These people don't wish you well. And as a woman of God, I have to tell you this because the devil wants to tell you otherwise, right? The devil will tell you, it should have been, oh, the devil, somebody attacked you. All of these lies from the enemy are not true. Why is God exposing this in your life? Not to make you feel bad, but for you to be delivered from that, from the spirit of abandonment, from the spirit of rejection, from the spirit of lack of love. All of these things have to leave your life because God is trying to connect you to your purpose. God is trying to connect you to people that are going to appreciate you and love you. So God needs to expose the feelings of the people that you hold on to. God needs to expose the feelings of people that don't wish you well so that you can let them go. So as I'm speaking this word over your life, I pray that this will be a confirmation. If there is no physical evidence of somebody that God, that you believe God is supposed to have in your life, like if they're not there, then you really have to question that belief. If that really is the voice of God or is the enemy trying to bring delay, okay? If God told you block someone, if somebody abused you, someone disrespected you, somebody robbed you, somebody hurt you, 
You really have to say, would God bring this person back into my life? Is this a relationship? Is this a friendship that would get me closer to God? Or is this something that the enemy can use to continue to keep me from the Lord? And once you put that relationship through this filter of is this from God or not, it's going to be easy. If the Lord is bringing this word to you, it's because again, you are in your breakthrough. You are in the moment that things are supposed to turn around for you. And God is saying, I can't have you distracted with things that are not true so once again people of god whoever this word is for a lot of these thoughts that the devil is trying to bring to you about your past are simply not true god has something better god is not going to make you beg for love from people that don't recognize the good things and as i saw in this vision that this woman was leaving she realized it i pray that as you listen to this video you also come to this conclusion god bless you don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to this youtube channel i'm going to be releasing a lot of prophetic videos in the next couple of hours because i've been so busy moving and god has been telling me that there's somebody out there waiting so make sure to subscribe so you could receive a word that is going to help you get closer to the purpose that God has for you. God bless y'all and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.